What's up, developers? It's Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.com back online with you guys today for a review that isn't a Udemy course. I know it's a little shocking. This site is called Educative.io and it's a relative newcomer. Um, I think it was founded by two brothers. They worked at Microsoft. One worked at Microsoft and one worked at Facebook. And from my understanding, they were just getting kind of frustrated with the online educational materials they were seeing. So they said, like any good entrepreneurs, any good problem solvers, they said they're going to do it themselves. They're going to do it their way. And the result is Educative.io. So they have quite a few learning tracks. And in these learning tracks are multiple courses. Um, they also have the courses available a la carte. They have a ton of free courses too. Let's check these out. And you can really see the diversity of technologies here. Learn Perl from scratch, Scala, Python, R, PHP, and Java, C++, build your own robot world in Java, intro to JavaScript, building Tesla's battery range calculator with React and Redux. Um, some really interesting projects and really just kind of stepping out of the box for a lot of these. The track I focused on to base this review on is become a front end web developer. Let's go to my other browser here and you can see I went through a lot of these different courses. So the front end dev track has six courses and it starts out in a very logical manner. Before we get into the meat of this track, I just want to point out the organization. And that was one thing that really popped out to me, especially as a newbie, you need to be told exactly where to start. So with this one, they start you out with the real basics, not even what is JavaScript, not even what is HTML, but what is the web? In this section right here, they actually cover what's called the OSI model. Really great organization. They also have quizzes darn near at the end of every page I've noticed. So this one is five questions. I'm not even reading these, but just to show you guys, what is the internet? I mean, it may sound obvious, but what is the World Wide Web? Really testing your knowledge right up front. And that is something I see missing um, not only in most Udemy courses, but also in a lot of online platforms. Um, it's just like information thrown on the browser and like, okay, go build this. I'm going to go back to the front end track here and show you the other courses in this track. So your basic web development, learn web development from scratch, going beyond the syntax. These two courses, if you don't know where to start with web development, it can be such a zoo. Then going on to advanced CSS, after that they take you to JavaScript. This is a significantly larger course than the rest of these here, 209 lessons. You're actually building a pretty simple project, um, but I think it is pretty good for beginners. It's a social media news site and you do three versions of it. You do like the basic version and then like your final third version, you're doing stuff with Node and like building different features on it. And when you build the project, they give you the objective, but then they give you the functional requirements along with the technical requirements. And then they give you some screenshots of what it should look like. I thought this was a pretty cool feature because this is something you find a lot in the real world when clients are giving you their requirements. Okay, what do you want it to do? What do you want it to look like? How should it look? What are the features and all of that? And they lay it out for you on the first page of the project. And again, there's like three different versions of this project. So this is the third one where you're using Node. Um, this is the most built out version. Let me see if I can find the second version of it. So here's the second version of the project. And they also, again, give you the functional and technical requirements. A few less features with this project. Um, but still one that's going to take some time to build. Also, you notice on the side here with the different modules, lots of coding challenges. Probably the biggest thing that sets this platform apart from the other ones is the playgrounds. You know, Code Academy has them, Free Code Camp has them. They're not unique in that sense, but these are just a little bit more interactive. So for example, in this coding challenge is a password checker. So with this coding challenge, you get actually two little playgrounds here with different tabs for your output, JavaScript, HTML, and then this one up top here has an output tab as well as an HTML tab. Run the code here. If you're getting stuck, you can always show the solution and it populates down here. In the front end dev track, I think personally, the lesson that popped out most to me was build front end components in JavaScript like a pro. In this course, the instructor takes out different features from different websites and has you build them. You build an eBay sub menu in this first project. And then um, the second project is an autocomplete search function. Just some pretty cool clones and little projects that you do. This is a Medium clone of their tooltip. Medium.com has a really cool one. 
Um, that's a great project too. Auto validating form, infinite list, just like Twitter. So taking some features from some pretty popular sites and apps here and having you rebuild them and use them however you want. No videos in these courses. And for some people that I know that's gonna be a deal breaker, they're like, okay, no cold steel, no deal. But I will say it's so much more efficient than a video. How many times have you wished there was like a 3X speed button on Udemy videos or any other video instead of the 2X speed? And it's really not death by text with most of these. This is from the eBay menu project. They're showing you a GIF of how this works. Um, and there's memes throughout to keep things interesting. Interesting. There's memes, there's pictures, there's GIFs. So you're not just like page after page of like boring dry text that'll put you to sleep. Things that can be improved. I would love the option as a learner to be able to save these code snippets to my local machine and toy around with them in a, my code editor of choice. Sometimes you just don't want to be online. You want to get out of the browser setting. There's many different reasons. Um, but it would be nice just to hit save to local machine. At first, I thought this button was going to do it, but it just saves it in the browser so that when you go back to it, you can continue working on it, especially with some of these projects, you know, building an infinite list. That's something I could use in my own projects, and I would love to have the option to save it to my machine. The other thing that popped out to me that might need a little bit more tweaking is the help section. As a new user to this platform, I clicked on the help and I was just like, oh my God. Gosh, there's so many things. I just feel like it's really cluttered. This is not a make or break, but because the learning environment here was such a clean, silky, nicely organized adventure, very well organized, I just felt like this was a step away from that. All in all, I think this is a great platform. I think it's a great addition. It's taking platforms that already exist and just turning up the heat. The coding environments are great. The organization is great. There are a ton of free courses also. I'm gonna include a link in the description box, no pressure. I may get a few bucks if you decide to sign up for courses. But even if you decide not to take the plunge, there are tons of free courses here. If you're a web developer, learn PHP from scratch might be a good one. I haven't checked that one out. PHP doesn't get a lot of love, so this might be a good one. Again, I haven't checked it out, so I can't say for sure. Uh, Ruby, learn web development from scratch, go beyond the syntax. This would be a really good one if you're thinking about web development but not sure. What is HTML? What is CSS? The box model, Booleans, JavaScript basics, and building interactivity with DOM manipulation. Educative.io, let me know your experiences with this platform, what courses you've taken. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a button. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.